I am joined by NFL Network analyst Mark Ross. Mark, with the success that the Bengals have had over the last two seasons, what does that tell you about the foundation that has been built in Cincinnati? Well, as soon as you got Joe Burrow, that foundation was set and set in stone. And as he said, what the window is always going to be open as long as he's playing. And that's true. And he's a rare player in this league. Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, maybe right there at number two. So once you have that foundation, everything else flows from there and it makes everything else not easier, but more manageable to build your team and be a consistent contender. So as long as Joe Burrow is upright and slinging it like he does, the Bengals are always going to be in the mix. When it comes to DJ Reader, he, uh, just why has he been such a valuable asset to, to the Bengals defensive line? Because he's another player that, you know, really kind of goes, um, you know, under the radar at times, but just causes so much disruption up there. Yeah, I mean, outside of Chris Jones, DJ Reader for me was right up there, maybe the best DT nose tackle in the league. And the words you said, disruption. I mean, the guy is a big physical guy that is quick and athletic and plays hard. Great feel for the game. So when you have those elements at that position, that's why he does what he does in there, and I would only expect him to get even better. You know, just his skill set, but coupled with his passion, his desire, and his motor is really what sets him apart. And another part of the defense I wanted to talk to you about was the secondary. I mean, there was a streak there where no quarterback was throwing for over 300 yards, no second half passing touchdowns allowed. I know Cam Taylor Britt stepped up big in his rookie season, but what impressed you about what the Bengals were able to do there in the back half? Well, the confidence that they had. You know, my guy Eli Apple, I got to tell you, know, my former draft pick with the Giants, you know, just that confidence that they have, maybe just the overwhelming confidence, but that's kind of what they fed off of, is that we got, we're getting doubted, all right, and everyone says that, but they actually stepped up and made plays and showed, you know, kind of were a cohesive unit in the way that they played together and the confidence that they showed with one another, you know, a bunch of sort of misfits back there and saying, you know what, we're elite as well. So that really, when I watched them, is, was the defining trait of them, that just that confidence that they played with. So as we're in the middle of the offseason now, what is an offseason move that you would like to see the team make? Wow, get T. Higgins, get T. Higgins back, right? You know, let's, let's think that's the number one priority for them is to keep that crew together. Duke Tobin has already expressed that, so <laughs> let's get that done. Well, Mark, appreciate the time. Love catching up with you as always. My pleasure.